Welcome back to Ask a Hall, guys, for another week. It's episode 19, so uh, the weather's warmed up uh, and we're edging closer to finals. So it's a beautiful time of year and uh, it's an even better morning because we've got a little dinner hard week on. Thanks for having me. No worries, mate. You, uh, you wanted to be on Hawks TV's number one show with its number one host? Was that what? Hawks TV's number one show. And it's got the number one host <laughs> at Hawthorne. Oh, I couldn't wait for, for this uh, episode, so yeah. Time's coming, I'm very happy to be here. Well, that's all right, mate. You didn't <laughs> even know what was going on. Who's been a guiding figure for you at the club? Now, choose your words wisely here, but um, <coughs> I'm pretty sure I'll know what the answer is. <laughs> um, well, the first, first week or so I stayed at Pup's house, so um, yeah, Liam Shields. And... Yep. I've watched he's, he's okay. Yeah, he's okay. <laughs> and I've watched a fair bit of my vision with him, so probably him and yeah, he's He hasn't kicked a goal he hasn't kicked a goal in about hundred and forty games. <laughs> what do you watch a vision with him for? <laughs> him and Punky, so Oh well, lucky you throw Luke in there, he can kick you up. <laughs> so mainly those two and yeah, Izzy as as well. Yeah. <laughs> I probably haven't got around you as much as say a couple of the other boys, but um, I'm always here, mate. <laughs> uh, we've got Isaac. It wasn't me. Yeah. Isaac Katz has uh, thrown in a question. What was the feeling like when you heard you were drafted to Hawthorne? You're an Eastern Rangers boy, aren't you? Yeah, from me. So Rangers. close to home. Yeah, so it couldn't have, couldn't have worked out any better for me if I'm only 20 minutes down the road. And uh, my mum's always been a Hawthorne supporter as well. So yeah, couldn't have, couldn't have worked out any better. What were you most excited about or most nervous about coming to the club? Um, most nervous about, I guess, just meeting all the all the boys because the last three premieres like it's pretty nerve-wracking at the start but now I got used to it so uh, yeah probably that and most excited probably the same thing I guess like yeah, yeah. Um, yeah just meeting all the boys so um, for you guys out there that don't know Dimmer he's a very quiet boy and very polite and doesn't say much around the club so we've got to get him talking a bit more <laughs> now we've got Jeff what's your favorite TV show mate uh, I've started watching a bit of power um, what, Port Power? Pa nah, it's called Power. It's a new, new series that's out. Um, and yeah, I've started watching that in the last week or so and I'm, I'm addicted to it already. So yeah, it's a great show. Yeah. So you've watched the show for a week and you can now claim, reclaim or claim that it's your favourite TV show. It's my favourite, yeah. Probably yeah. the favourite TV show I've watched. Yeah, but right. Growing up, growing up, I watched a bit of Home and Away, so that was all right. You're kidding. I, 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 thought, <laughs> I thought we had a strict policy at Hawthorne that we don't draft kids that watch Home and Away. No, nah, well, um, Liam Shields watched a bit of it with me when I stayed at his house, so he's, he enjoys it. Yeah, so, yeah, we watched it every, every night I was at his house, actually. Oh, really? Yeah. Liam doesn't tell me that. Uh, he might not, but he loves it. <laughs> yeah, we've got Tyson. Um, are you related to Dimmer Hardwick, or do you get that you're related? No, nah, we're not related at all. You're not related. Nah, but, yeah, people seem to think... You sound happy about that. <laughs> no, it's just because, <laughs> um, yeah, people always say that he's my dad or uncle, and... Yeah, he's yeah, not related. You look quite similar. Um, yeah, well, actually, my pa reckons he looks exactly the same as my, as he did when he was younger, so it's weird that, yeah, but... So something maybe, happened with the milkman maybe, back in the day? <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> maybe that was it. <laughs> uh, and lucky last, we've got uh, Trevor. Um, what's the big, been the biggest challenge about adapting to AFL football? Uh, maybe your food intake, or...? Yeah, it probably is that, actually. <laughs> I, I didn't have the greatest diet, I guess, coming into the club, so... Well, mum's a chef, isn't she? Mum, mum's a qualified chef, yep. She, she's just a cook, cook at a kindergarten, though, so... Um, yeah, she cooks good uh, good meals and that, but, yeah, it's what I, what I used to eat in between. I've probably improved heaps, so, yeah, mainly that. Yeah, and uh, I might have just show mum, we're in the last piece. Are you a coffee drinker? Uh, no. Nah. Not a coffee drinker. Hot, oh, have, hot chocolate? Here and there, but yeah, I love a hot chocolate. Yeah, I was the same. I loved a hot chocolate when I got in, now I drink coffee. Yeah, no, I love a hot chocolate. It's good. How do you like your hot chocolate? Hot. <laughs> do you like it with chocolate? <laughs> Bit of sugar as well. Bit of sugar. That's, that's not in the diet, mate. <laughs> I'm improving. I'm improving. That's the main. Well, Dimmer, thanks for joining us on Hawks TV's number, number one show. show. With the number one with the number one host. <laughs> so thanks for joining us. That's all right, no worries. And uh, let's hope to see you in the seniors soon. Yeah, so I'll hopefully get back there soon. Yeah, it's beautiful. Nice. Well, that's Dimmer Hardwick, guys. Um, I'm sure he's going to play many, many more games for the Hawthorne Football Club. 
Uh, thanks for joining us, uh, especially after a loss on the weekend. And uh, hopefully we can get the win for you on Saturday against North Melbourne. So thanks for tuning in.